Okay. Hello, everybody. How's the sound? Can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear? Where am I? I got to skip the ads. There we go. All right. This is fantastic. Look at this. Look at this. Sorry, everybody. I was, uh, I was out on the course. I had a tremendous round of golf. 18 holes in one. Is that incredible? Look at this turn off today. Look at all the wonderful press people. What did you say? I'm shiny. Am I shiny? Am I really shiny? Okay. Let me just pat myself down. Take a quick drink of water before we get started. Oh my God! You can hear the you can hear the protesters outside. Tremendous! We've got great people. First of all, I want to say hello to all the TikTok people. All the TikTok people. Last week, you know, I've got six million people on TikTok. Six million people. Last week, we had all six million plus six million other friends, so we had twelve million people here on the YouTube. On the YouTube. We have uh, almost 100,000. By the way, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, you are a radical leftist Antifa liberal. So please subscribe. And then automatically, you become a tremendous person. Isn't that great? That's a great deal. All you have to do is do the clicking thing and the clicking thing. And in the future, when I put out a video or something, make sure you like it. You like it because the YouTube, the YouTube, they, they like the likes and they like the subscriptions. I like the subscriptions. And I know you like the subscriptions. And by the way, I was going to start this press conference with Hail to the Chief, you know, da, 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 da. But you know what they do at YouTube? You know what they do? They strike you. They strike you with a copyright, a copyright infringement. But we're started right now. And uh, I'm ready to go. And I'm ready for your questions. And as you know, I'm incapable of telling a lie. I can never, I'm like George Washington. I can't tell a lie. I can't tell a lie. He chopped down a cherry tree with a little with a little hatchet. With a little hatchet. Do you remember that? You learned that in school. That's the kind of stuff we'll be teaching now because all the other stuff is just a lot of lot just a lot of stuff you don't want to know about. It's very woke. It's very woke. But we'll definitely be teaching about George Washington. And uh, if you hear anyone being strangled, that's some that's one of the dogs here on the property, the security dogs. He's being, he's, he's not happy. He's not happy because we have to put him in a, in a cage, in a cage. But pretty soon we might put him in the pool and see if he can swim. That would be very interesting, wouldn't it? That'd be dogs who swim, dogs who swim. But uh, f do we have anybody on? Oh, we have a question already from the TikTok. Yes, we have a question here on TikTok, sir. Yes. From Abdullah. Abdullah. Yes. Abdullah. Is he part of Live Golf? Is he part of Live Golf? Are they're absolutely real. I've been saying this since I got into office. I released all the files. And what do you think AI is? AI is alien intelligence. It's alien. So be careful with the AI, the AI and the uh, chat GTO and the chat. A There's a lot of chats now. They've got a, the, other than the GTO, which by the way is a beautiful car from the '60s that guzzles a lot of gas. And you know we were we were energy independent under me, and now under Biden they're bringing bringing barrels and barrels of crude oil in from the Middle East. And under me, we were totally energy free, totally energy free. But uh, the aliens are great people, tremendous people. They kind of have a, a, a weird odor. They have a weird odor. And we have another question here from Fake News CNN. What do you want? Picky Audiophile asks, Mr. President, you were misunderstood when it comes to Chris Christie. What's your take on that? I was misunderstood. Listen, listen, this week, this week, I was giving one of my tremendous speeches, and someone yelled out, Chris Christie is a fat pig. And I said, I said, you know, and I thought that was very mean, by the way. I said, he's not a fat pig. He's not a fat pig. And I think Chris Christie would have been very happy with my defense of him because that guy's got more chins than the Chinese phone book. I have to tell you, his A1C is WTF. That guy is just off the church. We took a photo two years ago together. It's still printing. Okay, if you know what I mean. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. You know, everybody, I'm in great shape. I'm in great shape. His shape is round. His shape is round, but he's not going to beat me. And he's saying terrible things about me. I've always been nice to Chris. Always been nice to Chris. He's been very mean to me. Very mean to me. I'm sure we're gonna, other people are going to ask about it. Okay, over, we have Fox News over here. Fox. Uh, she 
in wolf's clothing would like to know, does prison scare you? Prison does not scare me because I would take over the prison. I would be the warden of the prison. I would be the, the leader of the biggest gang, and I would change everybody around to just be my followers. And by the way, a lot of people in prison follow me. You know who loves me? Bikers. Bikers love me. And what do bikers do? They go to prison. They go to prison. So I think I'm going to do very well if I have to go. And I'm not going. And I'm not going. We did have a question before over here. Uh, yes. Noel asks, are you secretly talking to a pers uh, prison consultant about how to survive jail? Oh, am I secretly talking to a prison consultant to how to survive jail? Listen, I don't listen to anybody but myself, so I certainly wouldn't listen to a prison consultant, if you know what I'm talking about. If I have to go, which I won't, uh, I think I would do very, very well in prison. You know, by the way, I went to, to a military high school. That's like prison. It's very much like prison. It's very much like Vietnam. So I think I'll do very, very well if I have to, and uh, I'll probably lose some weight, get in shape. I could see myself in the prison yard right now, Pumping iron with the guys, you know, what do they call that? A uh, 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 Mountain Dew rag they put on their head. And I like Mountain Dew. I mean, I prefer Diet Coke, but I don't know if it's going to be in there. But I'll probably have anything I want. Just like in Goodfellas, they had a very special section in the prison where all the Italians, all the Italians stayed together and they cooked pasta and they did razor blades with, with uh, garlic, with garlic. So I'm sure it's going to be fine. If it happens, which it won't. Go ahead. Next question. Over here from the TikTok people, the tickety tuck. Uh, I just wanted to remind, you might want to remind TikTok about giving gifts. Oh, that's right, that's right. For the people, not on YouTube, not on YouTube, but the people on the tickety tuck, the people on the tickety tuck, we love gifts. We love, I especially love the hats. I love the cowboy hats, because I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy and I love Texas, and I did very well in Texas, by the way. So if you send me cowboy hats and things like that, I'll kind of like, do the roping thing. So for the people on YouTube, if you see me doing things like with the hat and all that kind of stuff, that's because of the TikTok people who give me gifts, who give me gifts, which I appreciate. And if you get 100 hats, what are you going to do? Oh, and if I get 100 hats during this live press conference, I am going to do YMCA, and I'm going to give you a little teaser. Why? And that's it. I'm saving the rest. I'm saving the rest of the letters. Because no one, I, you know, no, I, I have the best letters, and I put them in the best order. And for YMCA, you know the right order, but I'm not going to sing it until I absolutely have to sing it. All right, do we have another question? Over here, over here, we've got uh, some news. Who we, MTV, how did they get in there? How did MTV News get in there? Marcus Anderson asks, can Marcus I store Anderson. top secret documents at your place? My bathroom is already full of them. Marcus Anderson wants to store uh, top secret documents at Mar-a-Lago. I think we all know that I've opened up a new business. It is secret classified document storage. We Mar-a-Lago is very, very big. We have lots of rooms. So, Marcus, you can absolutely store your documents. I have two uh, bathrooms that are currently uh, uh, open and an area where we keep the condiments, the condiments. And at my place, the condiment, the mustard, the, the mustard and the ketchup, that's like gold. It's like Fort Knox for the condiments. Go ahead over here for the Tic Tac. Yes, Crystal Pete would like to know, what's the favorite, your favorite files that you declassify? The favorite files that I declassify? There's so many, but I think the Iranian, the Iranian nuclear secrets were my favorite because I showed them off at a press, not a press conference, at a meeting for Mark Meadows' book, who, by the way, could be potentially like working against me. But Mark Meadows is uh, writing a book, which no one is going to buy, by the way. And uh, we sat around, and I and I was I had stacks of documents. I just pulled that one right out. Could you believe it? I pulled the nuclear uh, Iranian uh, nuclear documents right out of a stack. I'm so good at this. I'm so good. But I but in that moment, I went and declassified them. Next question over here from uh, CBS News, the girl from CBS. How are you, sweetie? Andrea Smaller asks, can the president say something about his grandfather and why the German citizenship was revoked? Why his Germans? Well, my grandfather was a, was an entrepreneur. He was an entrepreneur. And I think something along the lines of they wanted him to fight in an unjust war, in an unjust war. And uh, he decided not to do that. He just, and he came here, and he made some money. He, uh, he ran, and this is not a secret. This is not a secret. He ran a whorehouse, and he, but he also ran a dairy. So 
Actually, they're very similar now that I think about it. Uh, but the, but he did very very well. My great my grandfather, and then of course my my father is Fred, Frederick Trump. And by the way, his middle name, and I want people to check on this because I'm not making this up. His middle name is Christ. So look it up. I'm the son of Christ. I just want everyone to know that. I want everyone to know that. So go right ahead. And by the way, I love Germany, and I love Scotland, where we have a tremendous golf course, and my mother's from Scotland, as some of the people know, and some of the people on YouTube know that already. My mom's from Scotland. So her name was McLeod, McLeod, and she was from Stowaway, Scotland, Stowaway, Scotland, and that's where they got that term, because a lot of people left Scotland as Stowaways, so they called the town Stowaways. Most of the Stowaways were from Stowaway, which was uh, quite a coincidence. It's like Lou Gehrig getting Lou Gehrig's disease. I mean, what are the odds of that? All right, do we have another question? Uh, we do. Somali Gio wants to know, what's your opinion on the Ukraine war? The, my opinion on the Ukraine war, and I've said this many, many times, many, 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 I could end that war in a day. In a day, I just have to get Zelensky, who, by the way, perfect call, Perfect call. They're trying to get me on the perfect. That was a perfect call to Zelensky. Because I said, I said, can you do me a favor? Do me a favor. Because I just given him a bunch of jets and things. But I would get him and Putin, and I love Putin. Me and Putin are such good friends. I call him V-Poots. I call him V-Poots. And sometimes I call, you know, I'll call him, how you doing, Putin? He's like, how do you, Mr. Trump? And I say, President Trump. He goes, President Trump. He's a funny guy. Funny guy. <laughs> Uh, Celestial Dragon. Oh, Celestial Dragon. We know Celestial. Is this the real Celestial Dragon? Yeah. Not the phony baloney. Celestial, this is the real one. We love you, Celestial Dragon. We love you, Tease. Celestial Tease. <laughs> he asks, are you afraid of what Mike Pence has to say? No, 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 because uh, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Because Mike Pence, I did never really trust it. I never trusted Mike Pence. You know why? because he was too trustworthy. Do you see where I'm going with this? Too honest. Too honest. When somebody's too honest, you don't want to say it. You don't want to say, like, well, she's really hot looking. Because you know what they do? They tell your wife. They tell your wife. And he calls his wife mother. He calls his wife mother. Is that, is that, that's strange, folks. That's strange. Mother, mother. The guy can't go anywhere by himself. He's allowed to go to the bathroom by himself. That's about it. But then that's kind of gay at the same time. But that's okay. That's okay. But I'm not worried about Mike Pence. And all of a sudden, he thinks he's so strong and powerful. Oh, I didn't say a lot. I didn't say a lot. Oh, yeah, sure, Mike. We got you on tape, Mike. You didn't know that, did you? Didn't know that. Don't worry about Mike Pence, or as I call him, Mike Dense. All right, another question over here. Andreas Muller. Andreas Muller. Is Melania still in contact with Church Trudeau from Canada? Well, Melania always had this thing for, for uh, uh, what's his first name? What's Trudeau's first name? Francois or Francois Truffaut? Francois Trudeau, Trudeau, because you know his dad was also the PM. But she likes him because he's handsome and he's young, he, but no one's as rich as me. And they'll never get me on looks because I'm probably the most handsome president in the history of presidents. I mean, look at some of the presidents. Look at Taft, Lincoln, um, uh, Harvey, uh, you know, all those people. Not attractive guys, not attractive guys. But I'm very, very attractive. And I've been on mo more magazine covers than anybody, far more than Trudeau. Thank you. Go ahead. Next question. Over, way in the back. Way in the back. Uh, you. Zelda Coach asked. Zelda Coach. I like that name. <laughs> Zelda you, Coach. Did you ride a golf cart shirtless like Putin? Did I ride a golf cart? You know what? I try to always be covered up. I'm not, I'm not a naked guy like Putin. I, I appreciate the fact he likes to be yeah. naked. I am just not a naked kind of. I shower in this. I just want everyone to know. This is a drip dry suit because the, being naked is really it's it's disgusting if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? So and I we learned in military you couldn't be naked. You always had to be ready to fight. Do the TikTok people? Do we have a oh, question? Yeah. Granddaddy perp. Granddaddy perp. This guy sounds like someone I'm going to end up in prison with. He wants to know, what do you think of Ron DeSantis? Oh, oh. Don't, don't get me started on Rhonda DeSantis. Ron DeSatan. Ron DeBackstabber. Ron DeBallis. 
random nutless. Let me tell you something about this guy. He came to me. He was begging me. You know, he was running for governor of, of Florida, the great state of Florida where I live. So he comes to me and says, sir, 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 President Trump, sir, could you possibly, could you possibly give me endorsement? I'm like, Ron, I have to tell you, you're negative 50. You're negative 50. You're practically dead politically. You're practically dead politically. So, oh, sir, 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 I'm sure with your endorsement, I'll do very well. So I give him an endorsement. 15 minutes later, he's governor. What's he do? He, first of all, he ruins the state with all this woke stuff. But, you know, that's something else. But then, but then, what's he do? He's running against me. And he's in the polls. In the polls, like this. His number, he had 25%, which is a lot. I gotta go. He's now at 9%. And he fired, and he fires everybody. You know why? He has no personality. Ron has no personality. All right, over here. I have more, I have more Ron names, by the way. I have many more Ron names. Believe me, Ron D. Crow Magnum. Go ahead. Uh, Luca Matoke asks. Luca Matoke? Luca Matoke. Oh, Luca Matoke. Luca Matuk. I like that name. Mr. President. Yes, thank you. Thank you for saying that, by the way. Be avoided. Well, listen, I have been talking about wildfires since I got it. Before I got it, you have to rake the floor. You have to rake the floor, and you got to moisturize. I think if you moisturize the trees and rake the floor, then I don't think we're going to have these fires. Uh, that they had in California, and very sad about Hawaii. I love, love, love Hawaii. I was hoping we could buy it and make it a state, but it's terrible what happened over there. Uh, I love uh, Lahaina and uh, uh, Maui, Maui Jim, all the Maui stuff. So let's pray. Uh, I, you know, I'm not a prayer myself, but if uh, I think everybody should pray for uh, Maui, Hawaii, they're going to be. It's going to be a tough time for the next few years, which is very, very sad. Very good. Go ahead. Next question. And make it a fun question, not a depressing question like that one. Uh, Petri Helenimi, I think he was in the last live. Oh, he was. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for coming back. And I want to thank everybody who's on right now on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Do a thumbs up. Over here, we want hats. We want hats. And tell them to subscribe on YouTube. Oh, and everybody watching on the TikTok, we're trying to get to 100,000 today. So if you're live on TikTok right now, Go over to YouTube, put my name, the same name, you know what I mean? And then then subscribe. We're going to break 100,000 today because oh. of you and you. Hat. Oh, hat. hat. You got a hat. <laughs> First one. I'm feeling very mavericky, like, uh, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah Palin. Pa-ching, 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 pa-ching. Okay, let's go on to a question. All right, so Petri Helenini asks, when back in office will you turn down all windmills to keep the birds alive? Well, let me tell you something about the birds. It's so sad about the windmills. It's so sad about the wind. You know, because in Scotland, in Scotland, um, they want to build windmills. Well, they're already building them. And uh, here you have this beautiful golf course, and you look out, and you're... First of all, it gives you cancer. Did you know that? It gives you cancer. So you don't want to be near windmills. But the birds, the birds... It's like a cemetery for the birds at the base of these these windmills, and I think we have to set up some kind of a uh, a fund a fund to bury the birds under the windmills. No one likes these windmills, and they're very expensive, by the way. And look, guess where they're made? In China, they're made in China. They're German and Chinese, but they're mainly made in China. So we got to get rid of the windmills, folks. Over here in the back. Um, Alex Bernadina. 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 Have you ever been to Germany? Have I ever been to Germany? Yes. Wasn't I in Germany for something during the war? Uh, not my war, but wasn't I there at some point? One of my aides is telling me I was in Germany at one point. But I think, if I remember correctly, I think I was in Frankfurt and Cologne and Hamburg. And that may have been Hogan's Heroes, now that I'm thinking about it. That may have been an episode of Hogan's Heroes, which is a tremendous show. I loved Hogan's Heroes. What a great, great show. So funny. So funny what we did to the, to the, uh, to the Germans. But I, I like the German people. By the way, I'm part German, so I must have been there at one, one point. I just don't remember. Member. You know what I mean? I like more memorable places like my golf courses and things like that. But I do love pretzels. I love pretzels. For the German people for inventing the pretzels, thank you. Next question. All right, question from Zuru Babel. I think he was in the last live as well. Thank you for being on the last live, Zuzu Babel. <laughs> Are you still the new Moses? 
Am I still the new? I think I always was and I always will be. I'm a lot of religious figures at this point. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm a messenger. I'm a messenger. And, and no one knows the Bible like I know the Bible. And from what I understand, from what I understand, because you know my favorite book is Art of the Deal. Art of the Deal. What's my sef second favorite book? The Bible. The Bible, but I'm not in the Bible yet. But I was told the newest version coming out next year, I'm going to be in that one. And it's right in time for the election. So you can pick up the new Bible, which I am in, which I am in. Oh, there we go. <laughs> She's back. She's back. We're having more reporters come in. We're having more reporters come in. This is wonderful. I'm going to take another drink of my fantastic Trump ice, which is the wettest water you can buy. Hold on one second. It's very refreshing water, by the way. Very refreshing water. Beautiful. Yes, go right ahead. Yes, P No U4461. Mm -hmm. We'd like to know what's your favorite verse in the Bible? My favorite verse in the Bible is the one where uh, rich people get to pass through the eye of a needle on the back of a camel. I think that is just a wonderful, wonderful thing because rich people deserve to get into heaven and they should be riding on a camel as they enter heaven, which is wonderful. And do we have another question? And by the way, someone from my team, uh, the, the camera got moved. You might want to take a look at that. Uh, I can see only a little bit of the one column, a little bit of the one column. You want to fix that? Split the columns? Split the columns? There we 4, go. 4,000 people in your life. Wow, 4,000 people in my life. I love that. I love that. We're just going to do a little fix here. There we go. How do I look, everybody? How do I look? Uh, by the way, by the way, is my hair on point today? Is my hair on point? Isn't it? Isn't it? You she, She's the lady who does my hair is right here. Isn't it look good? It looks great. And they did a really nice, nice uh, job on my, my look today. Who, who, who did that today? Rodafo? Wadafo did that? I like Wadafo. I like Wadafo. I think he's Argentinian, right? He's Argentinian? Nice guy. Nice guy. He smells, he wears a lot of cologne, but he's a nice guy. Go ahead. We have a question. Uh, Jess Stetson. Uh, oh, that my size favorite. Speaking of Stetson, what do I want? I want the Stetson hat and the mustache. All right. Did a pch, pch, pch. Okay, go right ahead. Uh, President. Well, I think finally, and that's a tremendous question. Who asked that question? Uh, that was Jess Stetson. Jess Stetson. Jess, that is a tremendous question. When I am back in office, we are going to activate Space Force to work with the aliens to help us find more oil all over the planet because they've got like sensing stuff that we don't have yet. I mean, we've got a lot of great stuff, but I, I, I want to tell you, we're going to be working with the aliens very closely. And if you want to join Space Force, go to spaceforce.com slash employment slash application slash well, whatever it is, you'll find it. But we'd love to have some really smart people who love me, who love me. You got to pledge your allegiance to me because that's really important. You know what I mean? Loyalty, loyalty. Go ahead. Fern Solo. Fern Solo. Is that Han Solo's mom? Fern Solo. Fern Solo. Asks, knowing that you have the best words, what is your favorite word? Oh, my favorite word is, is, is Trump. Is Trump. I think it's the greatest word in the history. And a lot of people, you know, like, you know, you've been trumped. Uh, you know, it's a verb. It's a noun. It could be a pronoun. It could be a uh, split infinitive. It could be, it could be really be anything, but I think the best thing about it is it just sounds good. President Trump, President Trump. I think it sounds great, but I do have the best words and I put those words in the best order. And that way, my people, tremendous people, fantastic people, all of my mega people, uh, they know, they know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you know, great people. Do we have any questions from the TikTok people? From all over the world. We got people from all over the world watching. All over the world. I didn't all over I the, world. the name, but somebody wants to know, where's Melania? Oh, where's Melania? Well, you know, a lot of people. A lot of people ask this question. And, uh, you know, a lot of politicians like to have their wife by their side all the time. But I don't need that. 
I don't need that. I'm an independent man. She's an independent woman. Uh, and she loves to play hide and go seek. She loves hide and go seek. It's like, oh, Donnie, 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 let's play hide and go seek. And then I don't see her like for three weeks because she's so good. And believe me, I'm looking all over this house. This is a big house, Mar-a-Lago. And, uh, you know, she, she knows this place like the back of her hands. I think she's seen the blueprints because she knows all like the secret passageways and the nooks and crannies. She also knows where all the doors are that lead to the outside, which is very, very dangerous. Dangerous. So we're having all the doors sealed. Somehow she got her ankle bracelet off. We're not really sure. We Either she lost more weight and it fell off. And by the way, speaking of weight, I want to say something about Melania. Not, not only is she the most beautiful woman, but every wife I've ever had has to do a monthly weigh-in, and she always comes in underweight. Isn't that tremendous? That's so incredible. And you know something else about Melania? She's very, very smart. She started social distancing from me four years ago. I put my hand on it like that. And that's how I knew about social distancing, when little Fauci Wouchy told me about, you know, he's tiny, he's really small. We used to have to put him on a chair just to get behind, behind the podium. And I know a lot of people who don't like him, but, uh, but it's okay, it's okay. But we're gonna have Melania possibly, what's that, next week? Melania may be here next week. We found her by using her iPhone. There's a tracking device on the. There's a tracking device on the iPhone. We know where she is. We know where she's probably spending my money, right, ladies? That's what you love to do to your husbands. Go ahead. Uh, question from Mark Moyle. Mark Moyle. Oh, is he a Moyle? I love the Jewish people. Great people. Fantastic people. The Moyles do the thing where they. Whoosh, you know what that is? I can't say it on on YouTube. They'll get me in a lot of trouble. How did you get your hands to be normal size now? I, well, you know what? A lot of people have been asking me about that, and I honestly think that the leftist, Antifa, Marxist, communist, uh, socialist, when they would take photos of me, they would use a special lens that would give me tiny hands. They give me tiny hands. Or they would, they would Photoshop tiny hands. And, but folks, look at these hands. Look at these hands. These are big, powerful, billionaire hands. And you know what they say, ladies, big hands, big gloves. Okay? All right. So we're fine with the big... Look at that. Look at that. It's a big head. Go ahead. Say wants to know, do you support say -say. The, the LGBTQ plus community? Listen, I was the first person to come out in favor of the LGBTQ plus, plus, plus community. I love those people. Great people. No one loves the gays the way I love the gays. Do you know what I mean? Look, look who did my hair and my makeup. I mean, that's the gays. I think the gays are great people. They just shouldn't have any special rights, but they should have normal rights, and uh, they just shouldn't par parade around naked during Pride Month. You know what I mean? But that's okay, because I have gaydar, and I know who's gay, and I know who's not gay, and there's somebody who's in the U.S. Senate who's very gay, who's very gay. I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say his name. I'll give you his initials. Lindsay. Okay. All right. Let's move on with the next question. Anybody? Do we have any questions? This might be an ideal time to talk about me because I'm doing such a tremendous job. And I'm 50% in the polls. At, what's that? I'm 75% in the polls. It's, so I'm even doing better. But that's all Republicans, right? 75% of Republicans want me as president. And that's, I'm not making that number up. I mean, I'm being told that by a very a smart person. You know, not as smart as me, by the way. But you know what I'm talking about. But while we have this moment, I want to say thank you to all the YouTube people watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, 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 like. And to my TikTok people, you know what I want. You know what I want. I want the, I want the cowboy hat. And thank you for watching. We love the lives. We love the lives. And there's people, hey, uh... Oh, we got people texting questions. Please pay your landscaping bill. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, how do you get my number? How do you get my... El Guardo, right? How did El Guardo get my number? But that's okay. Got He's... a couple more hats. We got a couple more hats. All right, here we go. How many... How close are we to 100? Oh, yeah, we only I'm doing, you know I love Texas. And where, where do the cowboys come from? Texas. Pachir, 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 pachir. I love Texas. You know what? Texas used to be its own country. It used to be its own country. No one talks about that. No one talks about the fact that Texas was its own country. Everything's bigger in Texas. Unfortunately, we've got Ted Cruz from Texas. But don't worry, we'll get rid of him at some point. That guy, that guy drives me crazy. We have a question in the back. Um, another question from Luca Matok. Luca Matok is back with another great question. What 
your message to the U.S. women's soccer team at the World Cup? Oh, my, my message is thanks a lot, Megan. Great shot. These, these women, these women who are obviously hate America, who hate America so much they lost on purpose to make us look bad. It's so sad. They should have, they, they didn't do the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, which is sad. They didn't, uh, they practically didn't show up. They're so self-consumed with uh, looking hip and woke and having the short haircuts and high-fiving each other and doing the fist bumps that they lost the game. Who did they lose to, by the way? Who did they, does anyone know? Does anyone, doesn't matter. They lost, they're losers. I, I, I'm so sad about these people. So sad, and uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have had them at the White House anyway. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. What do we got? Uh, World Home Decor would like. To World Home to Decor. Decor. That's is that one of our sponsors? That's great. I like that name. What are your World Home Decor. On Antifa. Well, I like antiques if they're if. It, with, oh, Antifa. Sorry, I thought they said, because home decor, I thought they said antiques, because there's a lot of antiques. You can't see them, but there's a lot of antiques right here. Here's my thoughts on Antifa. It's a bunch of loser hippies who want everything for free, who are Marxist, socialist, communist, and they just want to ride skateboards and smoke marijuana and uh, do the little gummy bears. That's all they want. They don't want to do anything, and that's why I don't like Antifa. But they will show up and protest in the black suits with the with the, the tactical gear, and they'll throw cans of soup, and they'll sink boaters at Trump boat parades, which I think is very, very sad, because those boats are expensive. But a can of soup is like, what, $2? And they use them like a missile. They use them like a missile. So soup should be illegal, and under me it will be. Uh, Jay Kramer. Jay Kramer. Asks. How high can you build the wall? You know what? That's a great question because I want the tall. I see this movie uh, Elysium with Matt Damon where they have these incredibly high walls, you know, like 100, 200 feet. So uh, however tall we can build the wall, we are going to build the wall. We're going to build a wall around the entire United States for the southern border. We are going to make Mexico pay for it. For the northern border, we are going to make Canada pay for it. And for the one on the west coast, we're going to make the Pacific Ocean pay for it. And on the east coast, the Atlantic Ocean is going to pay for it. Because the Atlantic Ocean was such a crappy ocean. They've really been getting a free ride from us. Yes, we have another question. I love this, by the way. By the way, I'm going to be here every Friday answering your questions. So if you want to tune in and send a question in, I will answer it. Because Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, oh, hey, where am I? Where am I? Hey, malarkey. Hey, 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 corn pop. Hey, Wells Fargo on a, on a pony. Yeah, come on, man. You know what? That guy is so old. That guy is, do you know he fought in the War of 1812? Nobody talks about that. But I am young. I am young. He's 100. I'm 75. But I'm a young 75. You know, 75 is the new 65. A lot of people don't know that. But 100 is the new 150. So it, goes, it splits at 100. So anyway, we have a question. Yeah, it's a question from Fate YYZ. Fate YYZ? That's it. I like that name. Fate YYZ. Fate yes. YYZ. Will Trump remove the president's two-term limit when he rewrites the Constitution? This is the greatest question of this entire press conference. Let me tell you something about this. I, I talk about this about my rallies, uh, at, at my rallies all the time. When I get back into office, since I was screwed out of my second term, I am going to, I'm going to change the Constitution, and I am going to become president for life so I can get everything done. Say it with me, everybody. President for life. Put it in the chat. President for life. President for life. You know what? Everyone loves this idea. Everyone loves this idea. You know why? Because it makes sense. Because I'm the greatest president in the history of presidents. And you know who else loves the idea? Democrats. I got a phone call from crying Chuck Schumer who said, I hope you get life. Isn't that nice? Even he's on board with that. What's that? Oh, 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 okay. All right, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Not nice, not nice, Chuck. Not nice, Chuck. Oh, we have, we got multiple questions. We got quick questions. Uh, from Tone Black One, he donated $10 to the 
ten dollars. Wow. And he said, How can I get that money? How can I get that money? <laughs> how, how do I get my hands on that money? He said, Hello, Thank Mr. You. President. I missed your COVID nineteen press conferences. By the way, are you still on contact with Doctor Doctor Fauci? Doctor Fauci. You know, I no one liked Doctor Fauci, so I couldn't like Doctor Fauci. But thank you for my. You know, a lot of people during those uh, COVID briefings, which we did every single day, highest ratings for midday television ever. A lot of people thought I was a doctor. They would go, oh, Dr. Trump, Dr. Trump, Dr. Trump. I said, no, 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 I'm not a doctor. I'm just a very smart person because if we use bleach, if you know you have a little bleach, uh, you know what I mean, a little bleach, and then you take the, um, the UV light, you take the UV light. Do you know what UV stands for? Does anyone know the purple light? Ultraviolet, ultraviolet, and you just put it up there inside of you. That light is just gonna beat up all the COVID because it's ultraviolet, because it's like John Wick. It's just gonna beat everybody up. No guns though, because the bullets would come out of you. And you don't want that. You want the hand to hand combat with the COVID. Go ahead. Next question from the TikTok people. Allison Chance wants to know what is your opinion on child labor? Mm. I think it's great. I think child labor is so important because a lot of these kids in the Philippines and in China, they got nothing to do and they have tiny hands. And have you seen the, uh, an iPhone? You have to have very tiny, tiny hands to make an iPhone. And who has tiny hands? Tiny children. <laughs> so you need tiny children to make tiny phones and tiny um, elements of the phone. So I think child labor is great. And by the way, they have a billion people in China. A billion people. I mean, there's not really much else to do other than to make phones. So I think it's a wonderful thing. Child labor is great. And in fact, in Arkansas, my former press secretary, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, which makes me think of Colonel Sanders and chicken, but that's something else. Um, she has just passed a brand new law where 13 and 14 year olds can work again. So we're going in the right direction with children, child labor. I think that's great. Someone's sending me money. Where's this money coming oh from? God. $70. Wow, Czar. Holy cow, Czar. Um, or it's, it's Rolo. Who oh, is? Oh, no, it's Rolo. He sent $70. I don't know what that, I don't know what that currency is. Oh, what currency is that? Is that Iranian? <laughs> is that Iranian currency? Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Czar? Is it Czar? I want to say the name right. Uh, it Who sent Rolo, it? Rolo, actually. Rolo. Rolo. I'm going to look at the camera. Rolo, thank you so much. When I am at my, my in, what are they, when the, the uh, inaugural party, I'm going to have you at the top table. <laughs> The top table. It's going to be incredible. If you are convicted, will you run the White House from prison? Absolutely. Listen, listen. You know, what did we learn from COVID, which was totally fake, by the way? What did we learn? That everything, you can work remotely. You can work remotely from anywhere. I can work from prison. I can work from prison. I don't need the White House, which, by the way, is a dump. Which, by the way. And you know what? I'm not going to go to prison. You know what I'm going to get? If this all goes the wrong way, goes sideways. House arrest, house arrest. And I have the most beautiful house in Florida. So believe me, I can run the world from Mar-a-Lago, which by the way, I'm already doing. Isn't this a great place? All the reporters here are nodding their heads. All the reporters, even the fake news, they, they, they love Mar-a-Lago. They love Mar-a-Lago. We're gonna have a nice lunch after this, everybody. I mean, I'm not paying for it, but we're gonna have a nice lunch. All right, we have a question for the TikTok people. Hello, TikTok people. KWAGS 93. Well, hold on. KWAGS 93. Does that not sound like a radio station? KWAG? KWAG? They play all doggy theme music. Uh, what are we going to do? What, is Hillary coming back? Don't worry. She's still crooked Hillary to me, and she's never going to come back. And she, too, is very old. And let's not forget about her emails and the server. Did you know she took, like, a chainsaw to that server, and then she acid-washed each one of the emails and then hanged them up to dry? It was a terrible, terrible abuse of power and crime. And we are going to definitely make sure she's accountable. Lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. All right, I think we get the message. We have another TikTok question. What do you Go think ahead. of the Montgomery Brawl? Oh, the Montgomery Brawl. You know what? It reminded me of kind of uh, the uh, the uh, the WWE, like the Big Bash. What do you call that? The Big Brawl. The big. I thought it was great. I thought it was. I love to see people fighting. I, you know, a lot of people are like this is horrible. I thought it was great. 
I thought it was great. And the chair with the, the lady with the chair, I got to tell you, yeah, that was that was pretty amazing. That was pretty amazing. I hope all the um, I hope one group gets arrested, but the other group grows free. I don't want to say specifically who because, you know, you know, I don't want to be seen as something that I'm not. So do we have another question? Oh, you know what? I'm going to take a little water break. Go ahead. Go, go, go to the question. I'm going to have a little sip. I'm going to have a sip of my water. When you're back in office, what are you going to do about gas prices? Listen, listen. You know, when I was the president, gas was 25 cents a gallon. <laughs> 25 cents. And then Joe Biden comes in, and it goes through the roof. And everyone's like, every, everybody on the left, the Democrats are like, we still have the cheapest gas in the world. Who cares? Gas should be, like, not free, because I'm not a socialist, but we should have, because everyone drives, you know what I mean? Everybody drives, and we should be having lower gas prices. I will call OPEC. I will call OPEC, or the Saudis love me. I will call them up and say, lower the price of gas. And they will do it, because they listen to me. They listen to me, because I'm, I'm a great deal maker. Art of the Deal, my favorite book. Second book, the Bible. Go ahead. Handmade hearts. Handmade hearts. That sounds very sweet. Will Handmade you be the president hearts. In the afterlife? I will be president. I listen, I've always been the president. I always will be the president. But in the afterlife, I think they're waiting for me because from what I understand, heaven is an absolute mess. A lot of disorganization. I think I can get up there and really make that place great again. Let's make heaven great again. But I'm not gonna die for a long time. Go ahead. Uh, Jay Lee Thompson donated five dollars. Thank you, Jay Lee Thompson, for the five dollars. And he said, "No question, just want to slip this into your g-string to help you pay for college." Oh, thank you so much. That's great, and I could feel it going in. It was a very nice sensation. Now I understand why there's strippers like that when you give them money. What do they call that? Raining? They make it rain. They make it rain. Go ahead over here for the ticket to talk to people. Alexander would like to know your thoughts on the Barbie movie. Well, I listen, listen, you know, it, it, it's made it made a billion dollars, from what I understand, you know, a lot of fake news. Um, but uh, I have to say, I think it could have made two billion dollars if they had mentioned me or done a cameo because Home Alone had me in the film in a very important role because Macaulay Culkin, Macaulay Culkin, he was lost in my hotel. It wasn't lost in my hotel. It was a tremendous hotel. It was a plaza hotel. But he was wandering around. He didn't know which way to go. And he stopped me. He said, sir, 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 President Trump, sir. Even then, he was calling me President Trump. And he said, which way to go? I said, young man, Macaulay Culkin, you want to go that way? You want to go that way? And that was probably the most single important line in the entire film. Because if you go the wrong way, you never get to where you're going. And I got him to where he's going. That film made $2 billion, and that was a long time ago. So Barbie could have had Trump in it. And also, I didn't like the way men were portrayed in the Barbie movie. It was very sad. A lot of these guys didn't know what they were doing. A lot of posturing, a lot of stuff like that. They didn't have a plan. And then they rightfully got in the position to run Barbie Land, and then the women stole it by using their their charms, if you know what I mean. All right, Fern Solo donated $5. Oh, Fern, thank you so much. That's very nice. And he said, can we say Merry Christmas even in the middle of July? You know what? This, these questions today have been absolutely fantastic. I love Christmas in July. We used to have a thing. Every summer, we'd have Christmas in July. And Christmas, Merry Christmas. We First of all, we should start saying that around November. None of this happy holidays. It should be Christmas. And we should, from July 1st to July 31st, it's 31 days, right? Uh, we should be saying Merry Christmas. And then on 4th of July, we say Happy 4th of July and Merry Christmas. But we should be saying Merry Christmas all the time because Christmas is the time of year where you get together and you uh, give gifts, which helps the economy. And I think we all know as uh, people who love the Christmas season and baby little teeny tiny baby Jesus who was, you know, was born on that day. Not in July, but in 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 uh, Christmas time in December, we can we can we can honor him all the time, all the time. Go ahead, TikTok people. Uh, Mike D would like to know how often did you go to Epstein's island? Oh well, you know I, I I'm sure you know I I just I I was it was very it was a it, I'm sure there's a um, there's a record some flight information I I may have. 
been there once or twice. But what did I say at the beginning of this press conference? I never take off my clothes. I never take off my clothes. So maybe somebody gave me a shoulder massage. I don't know. Uh, but I don't remember a lot of that. And I never liked him. I never, ever liked him. I mean, I went there, but I didn't like going there, if you know what I'm talking about. And by the way, Clinton was there far more than me. Far more than me. Over here. All right. I want to let you know that you have a thousand concurrent viewers. Wow. You broke last time. You broke your last record. Wow. We broke it, folks. We broke it a record on YouTube. We have over one billion people watching right now. That's almost everybody on YouTube, which is incredible. And how much money have I received so far? $75 million? You just missed the donation. Oh, yeah. We just got one. Uh, Audrey W. Audrey. $10. Audrey, thank you so much for the $10. Sir, sir, I have tears. Are we going to get through all this crazy Jack the Maniac stuff? Jack the... I, you know what? I think it's interesting. No one no one asked about this. Listen, wacko Jacko. Wacko Jack. By the way, by the way, Jack Smith, seriously, do you think that's his name? He's obviously covering up. He's probably George Soros in a Mission Impossible mask. I can't believe someone's named Jack Smith. Okay, but let's say his name's Jack Smith. Wacko Jacko doesn't like me. He's a never Trumper, and he wants to see me go to jail for doing a fantastic job. This is so sad. Our legal system, our, judi legal, ju our ju judicial system is out of control. They're using my own words against me. They're using laws because I did something to indict me. How crazy is this? Everything's upside down. Everything's upside down. I mean, what's next? They want to arrest me for a perfect phone call where I said, you have to find me 11,870 votes. I was just asking. I was just asking. Can't you ask a question anymore? I'm a sales guy. This is what you learn in sales. Ask the question. The worst thing that can happen is they say no. They said no a lot on that call, but I just kept <laughs> punching away. Go ahead. Next question. Uh, Howlin Mad Murdoch. Ooh, I like that name. Howlin Mad Murdoch. Wasn't he on the A team? Howlin Mad Murdoch. I love the A team. Dun, 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 dun. I hope I don't get a copyright violation for doing that. Go ahead. Mr. Trump, how come you were so orange? Well, I have to tell you, I thought your question was going to be, how am I, how come I'm so awesome? That would have been a better question. But I, I like a certain color. You know, I grew up in New York. I'm from Queens. I'm from Queens. And uh, there weren't a lot of tan people. And the tanning beds, all this tanning stuff, but I loved being tan. But I could never find like the brown because I would put too much on and I would look like an Indian. You know, not not the ones with the feather, the one with the dots. So I always thought I looked too I looked too brown. So I went with orange, and you know what I did? I branded orange because brand everything. That's what I always say. I'm a brand person. I'm a marketing expert. Someone from TikTok has a question. Chihuahua wants to know your stance. Chihuahua. Your stance Chihuahua. on the recent developments of AI technology, pro or con? Well, Chihuahua wants to know if I agree or am I in favor of uh, the whole AI thing. And let me tell you something. I, I, I myself don't need AI because I'm a stable genius. I can, you know, I can write and talk and do all this stuff. But a lot of people need it because they're stupid. Stupid people need AI. But as I said earlier, you may have missed a question, Chihuahua, uh, is that AI is from the aliens. And I was the person who let everyone know about the aliens. And they're here right now. They're here right now. They're in the clouds, in their spaceships, non-organic life forms. And they're very nice people. Like I said before, they have a, just a weird smell to them. But, but in the big eyes, they've got the big eyes. And they don't wear clothes, which, again, I don't like because they look, they kind of look like a Barbie. There's nothing there. There's nothing on Ken. That's why I don't think I like the Barbie movie. Ken didn't have anything. You, you got to have a set of them, if you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead. Uh, Big Cat Productions. Big Cat Productions. Asks, do you have stock in Cheetos? Do I have stock in Cheetos? Yes, I do. And you know where else I have stock? I have tremendous stock. I have stock in McDonald's. I have stock in Wendy's, lower stock, lower stock, because the Frosties are doing I think the Frosties are far better than the McDonald's milkshake. Of course, Colonel Sanders, 
Of course, Colonel Sanders. I love KFC. I don't know what they're doing. It's a mess. You can barely find one anymore. Go ahead. We have uh, a question. Melissa Dragon donated $4.99. Oh, thank you so much. $4.99. Is that a sale donation? <laughs> $4.99. Thank you so much. Clearance uh, pricing. For being awesome. No oh, problem. That's so sweet. Thank you, Celestial. You're the best. Celestial Dragon. By the way, Celestial Dragon, I think there's some people impersonating your name because you've always given me wonderful comments and we saw somebody with numbers. Maybe that's your backup account. I don't know. Over here, the, the TikTok people. Rex wants to know if you're going on tour with T-Swift. Oh, Taylor Swift. No, why would I go? She doesn't like me. She doesn't. But I will say this. I can get more people out to my rally than Taylor Swift. And by the way, Taylor is very, very talented, but she always gives her opinions about me, which should be illegal. Women should not be allowed to just give their opinions randomly when they're on, when they have that big of an audience. I think we have that big of an audience. You, you, the First Amendment shouldn't be uh, be allowed if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? She has a lot of money too. A lot of money. Wow. Go ahead. John C. wants to know, do you support the, Bra the Proud Boys, the KKK, or the Black Panthers? The, wow, that's quite a mix you have there. So the Proud Boys, the KKK, or the Black Panthers. And I think there's, there's good people on both sides. There's good people on both sides. Sides and I, I didn't see uh, the Wakanda movie, but I heard it was very good. And there's a sequel to that. And I don't know who David Duke is. No one's, you know. Uh, did anyone just mention David Duke? Because I don't know who he is. And then with the Proud Boys, Proud Boys, you know, I said this before. Stand back and stand by. Is that what I said? I said something like that. But you know what? They seem like a nice bunch of guys. They're very proud and they're boys. So uh, I don't think what's wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jarno. Jarno. Asks KFC or JFK? JFK. Well, I tell you what, you know, it's funny you mention that because in New York, he probably doesn't know this. There, in New York, there's a place called Kennedy Fried Chicken, which is like the best of KFC and JFK. So I would have to go with KFC because you can eat KFC, but, but if I ate JFK, I'd be a cannibal. And I don't want to be a cannibal. Go ahead. John C. has another question. John C. Is this John C. Anna, the famous wrestler who John I love? C. You, John C. John C. Would you C. consider Eminem as a VP running mate? Well, you know what's interesting about Eminem? He's he's so he's he's such a he's a smart guy and he's a tough. He's a tough guy. You know, I would actually consider him. I would because he would bring in a lot of people that I may not be appealing to right now. But having said that. The logical choice would be Kid Rock. Kid Rock. So maybe Kid Rock and Eminem could have a rap off. A rap off. And then they could they could then I could find out. Then we could make it we could gamify it and make it a contest because you know I, I was the host of The Apprentice, the highest rated uh, reality show. It was really a contestant show in the history of television. Uh, in the back. In the back. Uh, PM nine one four four oh seven. Wow. That's a lot of numbers. Asks do you still use scotch tape to your, do you use scotch tape to keep your ties to your dress? Before I walked out here, I used some scotch tape to put my tie together. The scotch tape is right there. Yes, I use scotch tape. You know why? Scotch tape is the best tape. And where is it from? Scotland. It's from Scotland, where my mother's from, and I have a tremendous golf course. And I, and I like that question. That's a great question. That's an inside Trump question. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Go ahead. Buyer snack wants to know. Buyer snack? Yeah. Oh, snack. That sounds good. Okay, go ahead. Now that MTG is single, can we look forward to seeing a romantic relationship between you two? Well, listen, I love Marjorie, but not that way. Um, she's a little bulky. For me, if you know what I'm talking about, doesn't really know how to blend. You have to blend the makeup when you're a woman. I can get away with it, but you have to blend the makeup. And she's a, you know, she's fun, you know, to hang with, like at the Kentucky Derby. But long term, she's not really, she's not really my bag, if you know what I mean. But she's a nice lady, and I need her a lot. She's a great ally, great ally. Marjorie, you know I love you, but not that way. Okay, go ahead. Johnny D, 63. Oh, boy. Will you put 
a giant T on the White House if you are elected. I tried. Listen, Johnny D. What, what are the numbers? 63. Johnny D. 63. He must be born in 1963. Johnny D. I tried to put a T on the White House for the longest time. You know, in Chicago. Chicago. What's the tallest building in Chicago? Trump Tower. And we have like 10-story letters spelling out Trump. And they want me to take it down. They want me to take it down. And that's just the city of Chicago. Can you imagine in D.C. where they hate me? But we're going to put a giant T on Mar-a-Lago. That's what we're going to do. A T through an M. Go ahead. Uh, picky Audiophile says, Sir, sir. Sir, sir. Competitors accuse you of dodging when it comes to August 23rd debate. Any plans to show up? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I don't think, uh, you, you know, here's the thing about the debate. There shouldn't be one. All of these people are polling at like zero and less. I mean, Chris Christie and, and Ron, DeSantis, Ron, like I said before, <laughs> this guy's going down like a lead balloon. He's, a popular, he's about as popular as a fart in church. Let me tell you something about Ron. His wife thinks he walks on water because he picked up the kids at school. Listen, could the bar get any lower for this guy? There shouldn't be a debate. I am, if this was a Democratic thing, you think there'd be a debate, Sleepy Joe? Oh, hey, I'll answer your question. Oh, shut up, man. There wouldn't be a debate. There wouldn't, they wouldn't have anybody run them against it because they have respect. That's one thing about the Democrats. They have respect. The Republicans, nobody has respect. For, this guy, Tyvek Wagaswamy, listen, this guy's running. He's 12 years old. I've got Nikki Haley, who was my UN ambassador. She's running against me. Chris... Christy, the Zeppelin, he's running against me. We already talked about Ron DeSantis. Uh, Asa Hutchinson, uh, ASA, he's running against me. And there's a bunch of other... Tim Scott, who looks like the Crypt Keeper. Rick Scott, who's just, you know, a guy from South Carolina. He was one of my favorite black people. Now he's not, because he's running against me. So all of a sudden, I have all these people running against me. I'm the incumbent. I was, the, the, the election was stolen. It was stolen. This is why there shouldn't even be a debate. But I might show up. I might show up. You never know. Stay tuned. Go ahead. Next question. Bex wants to know, will Lizzo sing at your White House gallery? Well, I'll tell you what. I did like Lizzo. I did like Lizzo until I found out that she did some things uh, with her, uh, her people, her people, her people her people. And those people don't like what Lizzo did, and now they're suing her. And I listen, I don't like lawsuits. I'm involved in 3,500 of them, but I don't like lawsuits, and I don't like to be around people involved in lawsuits, but I like Lizzo. Go ahead. Um, Audrey donated again. Audrey. $5. Oh, my God. Audrey, you're fantastic. Um, she said, tell us what happened with Rudy and what's going on. And this was a question for from Mark Moyle that couldn't get his way through chat, so she donated. Oh, that's chat. interesting. I wonder why he couldn't get through chat. Did he subscribe? <laughs> make sure he subscribes. Subscribe. If you're watching this, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And make sure over here that if you're watching on the tickety talk, go over to YouTube and subscribe. We're breaking 100 thousand subscribers today because of all of you now to answer rudy's question rudy was a great guy it was, and they're very mean to rudy they're calling rudy Kaludi. all these nasty things are calling rudy motor oil because he uses motor oil to dye his hair rudy's a great guy and he's done a fantastic job for me but you know he's getting a little older he doesn't really work out you know what i mean i mean i work out with golf because look at me do i look fantastic i look absolutely Amazing, but Rudy's smoking a lot of cigars, which I don't do. I don't smoke cigars, and I think he's drinking a little too much of the vino, the vino, and uh, he's made a couple of mistakes, which happens when you're a little older. Not to me, because I'm a stable genius, but to Rudy, he's made a couple of mistakes, and I think it'll all come out in the wash. It'll all come out in the wash for Rudy, but he's a good guy, America's mayor. America's mayor. Not the best attorney, but America's mayor. Go right ahead. Uh, Andrew asks, is the money given to this channel going towards party supplies for Hunter? Party supplies for no, won't be going to party supplies for Hunter, but it'll be probably going to my my victory celebration here at Mar-a-Lago. We're gonna have big name people performing here. Three doors down is gonna be back. Uh, we might get Nickelback back. Get Nickelback back. 
uh, which would be tremendous. Some really big name talent. You know, New Year's at Mar-a-Lago, we had Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean. We also have lobster, uh, flounder Aldean, too. So you could be eating the flounder Aldean while watching Jason Aldean, which I think is a great deal, because then you'll never forget. You'll never forget. And he wrote that small town song, which is causing a lot of controversy. But, you know, he, you know, some people, they just don't know how to, like, you know, do the things when they're doing the songs and writing the words. And sometimes people miss mishear, because people mishear me all the time. I say one thing, but they hear something else. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Go ahead over here for the tickety talk. By the way, how are we doing with the hats? We're, we're doing okay. We're doing we're a, okay. Are we close to 100? 13, Mr. Trudeau. Oh, well, listen, listen, listen. You know, I liked, I, I can't remember his name. Uh, Pierre Trudeau? No, it was his dad. Trudeau is a young guy who thinks he knows everything because he's good looking and women fall all over him. And he's got that French accent, which is a put on by the way, which is a put on, because he's not, is he French? His dad was French? Okay, but you know what I'm talking about, because women love, oh, let me tell you something, it's all put on, it's all put on, and he's got a nice head of hair, but I have a nice head of hair, you know what I mean? So this whole Trudeau thing, you know what he did? You know what he did, he wore the black face, that's not nice. His that's name's the, Justin. Justin, thank you, thank you. Justin Trudeau, Justin Trudeau. He thinks he's such hot stuff. I mean, come on, Canada, really? I mean, it's not even like a real country. Do you know what I'm talking about? I mean, the, the Queen runs Canada. You prob probably don't know that. They have the Queen on his, oh, I guess they have the King now. But they've got those people. That, that, that's, a, that's another country being run by another country. He doesn't really do anything. I just want to make that clear. Go ahead. Uh, this is from Andreas Muller. Andreas, that's great. I saw that movie Andreas fought with The Rock. The whole California slid into the ocean, made all new beef, beachfront property, which was nice. Is Clarence Thomas a nice guy? Well, Clarence is a very nice guy. He's very conservative. He's being wrongly um, a well, not accused, but he's being wrongly targeted. All he did was take $20 million from a very uh, well-known and a wealthy conservative person. I mean, listen, we all take money, right? Don't we all take... I just took some money. Is that wrong? Is that wrong? Just because he's a United States Supreme Court justice and it might impact or affect his decisions? No, it's just money. It's just money. It's like I said to Milani after I was with, with Stormy. I said, it's just sex. It's just sex. And everyone got so upset. So it's just money, folks. Don't worry about Clarence. He's a very nice guy, very down to earth. He drives a uh, very gorgeous, uh, what do you call those things? Motor coach. What are those things called? RVs? Well, those, those, I don't know. I don't like that. I, I'm not into glamping. But I hear it's very, very nice. He showed me photos of it. You know, and his wife is, you know, his wife is very, Ginny? Ginny Thomas. She's very, very nice. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. Go ahead. Next question from the TikTokers. MLA. MLA. Has asked this question about 6,000. Oh, okay. Let's, let's get to it. So it's super important. Yes. On a scale of 1 to 10. Scale of 1 to 10. How hot is Lady Liberty, in your opinion? Oh, Lady Liberty is so hot. Lady Liberty, and she's French, and I know I was bashing the French, but Lady Liberty is so hot because you know she's not wearing anything under that. You know she's not wearing anything under that, so that's easy access. Easy access to Lady Liberty. And you know, she's kind of got, she's got that whole thing going on. You know what I mean? She's one of those very confident women, which I like, which I like. Not too confident, but she's very, very confident. And she's French. And I heard the model who actually posed for that was very attractive and didn't wear anything under that outfit because the French like to go naked. They like to go naked because they like wine and sex. Go ahead. Uh, we got a question from Betty Veronica. Betty Veronica. Sir. Do you think DeSantis dresses in drag with his white go-go boots? I think that's a, I think that's a big yes. Did, the question was, do I think that DeSantis dresses in drag with his white go-go boots? And I have to say it's a big yes. You know why? That's why I call him Rhonda DeSantis. Rhonda DeSantis. And he's probably the most unattractive woman you've ever seen. He probably gets his wigs and, you know, Halloween spirit. He probably, he's such a cheapskate. He probably doesn't even get, like, a nice wig. You know what I mean? He's, he's a bulky guy. He's got, listen, Ron, if you're watching, 
and I know you are. Too much of this. Too much of this. Too much of this. All right? Stop bulking up. All right? You're, you're going to burst through your suit, if you know what I'm talking about. He, what do they call that? Swole? They call that swole? He's swole. He's too swole. All right. Next question. We're going to wrap it up soon. Becky, how are how you, would Becky? You tackle the problem, problem of morbid obesity in America. Oh, this is such a huge problem. This is such a huge problem. You see these kids in, in, in third and fourth grade. They look like beach balls with little tiny heads. You know what I mean? We, we got to stop with putting the sugar in everything. Did you know there's sugar in ketchup? Did you know there's sugar in ketchup? I know because I have to buy a lot of ketchup. And there's sugar in mustard. And there's sugar. The sugar in cereals is out of control. It's out of control. And if I had a sponsor who maybe had less sugar in their cereal, I'd be talking about them right now. But we haven't been able to close that deal. But we will. We will very, very soon. But you got to get the kids to be healthy. You got to get the kids. You know, I went to military high school. Believe me, they put you on a very strict diet. So obesity is a huge problem. But then again, McDonald's has to make money. So you know what I mean? We got to, it's, 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 it's a tough it's a tough question when you get right down to it. That's it. Well, folks, you've been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to be here every Friday answering your tough, tough questions, accepting your incredible money, accepting your gifts. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. You're tremendous. So let me just end with Trump, oh, we got. Oh, we just got a hat. Hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog just gave me a hat. Pachir, pachir, pachir. Getting all mavericky over here. There we go. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Trump bless you, and Trump bless America. We're clear? Good, because I've got a, um, a, can somebody get me a cheese?